Alvarez seeing a lot of the ball in the opening stages but that's given away here is Sutter tries the long range shots straight into the belly of Cordoba that's Brilla going it himself this is what we want to see a bit of adventure from him might even get the shot in too many men there Rincon and still a shot over the bar Pascolo not forced to make a save well Valencia is really a handful he's already shown his goal scoring touch already as the ball broke to him there flashing the shot but couldn't keep it down their confidence must be at an all-time high but they've got some defending to do now good flick on now Esprilla shot actually came in from Rincon and Pascolo doing well as Esprilla bursting through and he just laid it off very quickly into the path of Rincon good save by Pascolo Valderrama takes it, floated dangerously in, still not away, good shot coming in, great save by Pascolo. Herrera must have thought that he was going to score the first goal. As Pascolo made a brilliant save. They conceded two goals against Italy, but they still came away with a draw in that game. And they're under pressure again. Asprilla gets it across to Valderrama. It's through again, but a great save by Pascolo. Still not away. Valderrama! Was that the use of an arm? Valderrama is claiming the penalty, and I think he's got every justification. Alvarez... And that's Sprilla surrounding the goalkeeper, uh, rather the referee. But the goalkeeper was out of position. And look what happens here. Goalkeeper out of position, and there was certainly a touch by Geiger. And this day of TV evidence, very unwise to do it. Valderrama, the ball in, the goal scored by Colombia. Gaviria, just before half-time, gives Colombia some hope. His first goal for his country in nine internationals. And for once, the Swiss defence were hopelessly astray Pascolo believing that one of his players had been fouled but he should have stopped it anyway this would be guaranteed still not away Bregi inside to her just over the bar well, Dominic Herr is so good in the air. And when the ball came in, he just tried to get the ball downfield. 15 minutes left. Columbia one up. A shot coming in from Gaviria. Gaviria, Alderana again. Asprilla's first touch let him down a bit there, but he takes it on now. Can he get the shot in? He can. Saved comfortably by Pascolo. Just taking his time. Switzerland entering the last minute of the game. And that's a beautiful opportunity. Chapusa over the bar. Well, that was their best chance of the game. And you can see what he feels about it. Well, nine times out of ten, you would back Stefan Chapusar. 
to score from that situation. That's a good ball inside, Lozano. Can he get the shot in? He can! A second goal for Colombia. They scored at the end of the first half. And the substitute, Lozano, has scored at the end of the second. Well, a 2-0 scoreline means that Colombia are assured of the three points and will have a minus one goal difference. What they are hoping for now is that the USA can beat Romania for them to sneak into third place. So they've recovered some of their self-esteem here. Even if they've progressed, it's unlikely that they would have advanced too far. We've seen some better teams than the Colombian side. For Switzerland, though, they went entered the game knowing that all they were really fighting for was which position they'd end up and where they'd end up playing in the next round of the competition. Valderrama ends the game on the field, but certainly with the fans unhappy with his part in the game. Final score, two goals to nil to Colombia.